continuing NFL Combine news, Sincere McCormick, the finishing touches to a great recruiting class, the release of the 2022 schedule, the actual Combine, the start of spring football practices, the NFL draft and a summer full of pro OTAs and camps sure to include several roadrunners. UTSA football is darn near year-round news these days. Our interview with Jeff Trailer and Larry Coker kind of serves as an example. We sat down with them shortly after the Conference USA Championship game, ran a snippet of the conversation that day. We then ran more of an extensive portion of the interview the day before the bowl game. And now, the whole thing. From the beginning, to the vision and the challenges, to where they are now, and where they're going. Our sit down with UTSA's current football coach, and its first ever head man. So there's a meme I've seen that's got a, a goat and a baby goat in the same picture. And I feel like I'm hanging out with the UTSA goat and the UTSA baby goat. Coach Coker, Coach Trailer, thank you so much for the time. Well, I'm the goat, he's the ram. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, not the ram, Coach? Oh, I'm nowhere near what he is, <laughs> nowhere near. So we're sitting in the race facility, Coach Coker. $41.5 million, $42 million price tag, yeah. and I'm probably shorting it some. You've, you've seen the facilities, the second bowl game for the program in as many years, a conference championship. 12 wins. It's a little, bit of a, a little bit of a difference from having to borrow equipment to practice, <laughs> traveling to a high school field, a facility to practice, scrambling to meet, to find meeting rooms. I mean, does it just completely put you in awe when you look at where the program is now? It's not a little bit different. It's just a night and day different. And uh, put me in awe, no doubt about it. This is tremendous uh, progress the program's made. And, I mean, Excited, but you know what? I mean, it's just something to say. You know, you know, you know it could happen. You know it could happen. And the city and the university and uh, and coach has done a great job with it. Appreciate him. How much did that keep you going in in the beginning? When I know when you're starting something from scratch, there are a lot of tough days. And so, how much did I know this can happen? I know this can happen. I know we can get to, although the specifics maybe weren't there, how much did it keep you going back in the beginning? You know what, did, but you just, you, just, you just go to work and try to do your job. You just go recruit, and coach, and, and do the best you can with what you have. You don't, don't complain about it, just recruit and coach. Recruit and coach. And so, Coach Trailer, here you are sitting next to Coach Larry Coker, a man that I know you have great affection for, and you've often talked about uh, what Coach Coker means to you and, and to the program as well. So none of this is possible without a Coach Coker and his staff and the folks who were there at UTSA when football first started, right? Yeah, you got to remember, I was a Texas high school football coach, and Larry's one of the guys that was a hero of ours. Because you're always looking for the guys that do it right. And uh, there's so many stories of guys that don't do it right. There's not enough stories of guys that do it right. And uh, I would always do my research because, you know, a lot of times college coaches will act one way and be another way. And uh, I would always dig on coach and there was nothing but raving reviews on him. His coaches that recruited my school were fantastic people. Kevin Brown, Charlie Reeve. True story, when I got hired at Texas, I didn't even have a tight end in my offense at Gilmer. We were spread out, throwing it all over the yard. I called Kevin Brown, who I had a lot of respect for. I said, who's the best tight end coach you know? He said, Charlie Reeve is. I said, well, I'm in Austin. You mind if I come down here and get some drills from Charlie? I drive right down here. Coach didn't even know I was here. On this campus, meet with Charlie and Kevin. Charlie gives me my tight end drills, and I start coaching tight ends a lot because of Coach Coker's Charlie Reeve. That's awesome. So do you remember the first time, your first interaction with Coach Coker? You know, I don't. I'm sure it was in passing. Uh, I'm sure it was, you know, when he was with, at the U, you know, he was larger than life. Uh, we were all trying to shake his hand, you know, during that time. Uh, I just know that books I read, stories I read, he was just such a man of character, such a man of faith. And you could tell by the people he surrounded himself. Again, his staff. And, and I, I draw on Kevin quite a bit because I have my down days because we're not all the way there yet. He definitely passed the torch to me in a much, much better place. But we've got a long ways to go. And Kevin will say, Jeff. We were borrowing equipment. We were driving to a high school. You're complaining because whatever it might be, right? He, he reminds me of how far this place has come. When you got the job, Coach, here at UTSA, do you remember then that first interaction with Coach Coker? Yeah, I did. Uh, I knew I needed to get somebody that knew the city, so Kevin Brown was first and foremost on my mind. And as soon as I hired Kevin, his first thing was, we got to get Coach involved heavily. Uh, so we've been in contact with Coach. Uh, Kevin's made that easy. Uh, because obviously him and Kevin have such a great relationship. Hey, Coach Coker, what's it been like to be involved? And kind of, you know, when you're the first ever head coach and you start the thing from scratch, you're forever a part of, of, of the program. But at the same time, 
you don't have to deal with, with all the things that Coach Trailer has to deal with nowadays. So is it, is it kind of the best of both in that you're forever a part of the program, but at the same time, kind of get to do it at your own pace, kind of on your own time? I don't want to deal with what he has to deal with, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that. I, I've done that. I don't want to do that anymore. But no, I've just been, uh, been really, very really blessed to be involved with it and, and uh, brought back in the program and, and just to see the progress that's made. It's been, it's been unbelievable, unbelievable. During the UAB game, came out between in the timeout between the third quarter and the fourth quarter um, and the dome was packed that day as it was for the conference USA championship and the loudest it got even even when you consider portions of the game was when you came out on that cart said wave to the fans public address announcers saying here he is the man the myth the legend Larry Coker what was that like for you well, that's awesome. How, how, how did I wave? Wave good? Was Great wave. <laughs> <laughs> like everything else. Great job. <laughs> no, I tell you what, it was, it was awesome and just uh, a little bit uh, surprised, to be honest with you. And really kind of uh, from where I came from, I guess you say humble beginnings and high school and all that and, and be involved with that, just, uh, just amazing to me. Amazing. Coach Trailer often talks about his high school roots. In that kind of a way, are you guys kind of kindred spirits in a way? High school roots, high school roots and look where you guys are now. When you draw upon those, those high school days, I mean, I, I imagine that's something that's pretty special, Coach Trailer. Yeah, there's nothing like it. You know, that's, that's where the purest form of coaching really is. And uh, those, those guys got to have you, right? I'm not sure my guys here have to have me. Those high school guys, those junior high kids, pre-K, elementary, they, they counting on Coach with a whistle to show up every day. Yeah, and Coach, when you look at what the program has become, and I know we talked a little bit a while ago, if you could have, have imagined that it'd be here, relatively speaking, as quickly as it's gotten to uh, where it is. How proud are you of where the program is now and Coach Trailer and everything that's going on? And, and not only the program and the success, but the type of young man that's coming through this program nowadays as well. Well, I think that's the whole key. I think Coach has done a great job of that, recruiting not only good players, but good character kids. And uh, it's kind of a combination there. And it's just a just amazing to me, but I, I knew it could be there, and uh, he's going to take it to the next level, to be honest with you. Anything w uh, upon your, your conversation with Coach Coker, Coach Schiller, anything that you kind of come away with thinking, I want to add that to my mindset. I want to add that to however, however it, is, it is that I see things through. Any interaction with Coach Coker kind of leave you kind of coming away with, I'd like to do this, do that, et cetera, et cetera? He has a unique way of, uh, he's a larger than life you know, mentor to so many of us, but yet he makes all of us feel like he's just like our friend. Uh, like he came and spoke to my team for the Louisiana Tech game year before last, and just as humble as can be. He doesn't even know what those kids are all thinking, but as soon as he got through talking, every one of those kids was like, Coach, do you have the ring? Do you have the ring? And he shows the Miami National Championship ring. Those kids just go crazy. Just his humility, his grace, but yet he's a really good ball coach and players all respect him and they play hard for him, but he carries himself in such a way you'd never think he's this ferocious national champion, program building, starter up coach. And that his grace and how he carries himself is something that I hope somebody might get a, a hint of that from me at some point. When you think of Coach Trailer, Coach Coker, and you see the enthusiasm and the, the, the positivity, what comes to mind when you think of Coach Trailer? Well, I think just, like I said, he's very positive. Uh, I was saying X's and O's coach, but he's taking this program to the next level. And that's where it uh, could be, and that's where he's taking it. And that's exciting. It's very encouraging, very exciting for me to see it, see it happen. Coach Heller mentioned the, the, the national title ring. See it right here? Yeah. That's pretty neat. I don't have one of those, Hector. <laughs> <laughs> very few people do, though, Coach. Very few people do. I know both of you very busy. No, no, no. He's busy. I'm not that busy. <laughs> well, we do appreciate the time either way, Coach Coker. And any last thoughts, you know, when you, when you think about where this program is and you think about how none of it is possible without you, your staff, the dedication, the commitment of so many here at UTSA, when you think about just big picture, and unlike Coach Trailer, you're allowed to do that now. You're allowed to step back and just purely not worry about what's ahead. You can kind of focus on what you've done what comes to mind? Well, it, it's a good place to be, and not so much what I've done, but what, what could be and what's, uh, what the future holds, and you just knew it, knew it could happen. So it's a great city, and uh, great players in the area here, and uh, uh, it just, you knew it could happen, and just uh, I'm excited about the direction it's going. And Coach Trailer, I mean, you look at the trajectory 
uh, of this program. Um, and there's a good reason folks are excited. And that's probably an understatement. Really, really excited. I'm not going to ask you, you know, I made the mistake when, when we sat down when you first came in is what are your, what are your expectations? You're like, like, I'm not going to put a number on anything. It's we're just going to go out there. We're going to do the best we can every day, get better every day, and we'll see where, where that goes. I'm assuming if I ask you that question, the answer would more or less be the same. But in terms of what you've been able to do in the two short years that you've been here, do you look at the future and go, my, I mean, we thought anything was possible before, but now, geesh, I mean, is there that element to kind of the thinking now? Where my mind goes, and just like when Larry started, he, he had things that came along he had to overcome, like facilities, place to practice, having a season, just getting it all started, right? Scholarships, numbers, all those things, budgets, where what's presented with us now is the new name, image, and likeness. You know, that's the next, that's the next hurdle now that we have to embrace. And uh, that'll be the next thing as a city. And we, like he said, we have the seventh largest city in the country. We have an amazing city. Uh, but those are the rules. And it does no good to complain about them. We've got to figure it out. And, and we've got to educate our kids, help them, connect them with businesses, and get that where those kids understand that this is not just somebody handing out money. This is a relationship. The businesses make money. You've got to provide them something that makes them want to invest in you. It could be a win-win. We just kind of figure it out. So that's what's next on my mind. And then we've got to go tackle uh, the best way to handle this name, image, and likeness. Coach Trailer, best of luck. Coach Coker, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for taking the time, both of you. And uh, we'll see you guys soon, hopefully again. Just win, just win, baby. Just win, baby. Thanks, Hector. God bless. Birds up. Coach Larry Coker won 26 of the 58 games he coached at UTSA, making him the school's all-time leader in number of wins. Should Jeff Trailer's team win eight games on next year's schedule, he'd surpass that total in his third year at the helm of the program.